So, hi, it looks like I'm in the Intel booth. This is the Intel booth, welcome. And I noticed that you've got these very interesting spiders. I've looked into these kits before, and the kits are a little bit pricey, but I noticed they have Intel logos on them. What makes these a little different than what I've seen in the past? They do, so so these are, uh, we call these spider bots. These are powered by Intel Edison. Um, what you're looking at here is, is sort of two revisions. Uh, the white ones here are all coordinated. Uh, oh, oops. <laughs> so, um, so what you're looking at here are called spider bots. Um, uh, the, there, there are six of them here that will uh, do things in coordination. Uh, they're all powered by Intel Edison. Um, aside from that, uh, each one has uh, uh, three servos on each of the six arms. So that's 18 total servos, uh, a battery, um, 3D printed arms. Uh, so hypothetically, you could go uh, onto the internet and find uh, 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 files to print out uh, the parts for these, per, for example. Uh, these here, actually, we had a um, fashion designer do a little uh, rework on, on that basic design <laughs> to get some of these accentuations. And we're using a, a nylon material for the, for the printing. Um, but anyway, enough of me talking. Let's, uh, let's see what they do. So uh, here, I'll stand them up. So what would something like this cost? Well, I, I, I don't have cost information at the moment. Um, uh, the Edison, of course, is uh, going to be in a... Now, go a ahead and stay in the scene. I, oh, I, was, I was moving back. Yeah, there uh, the go. Edison's going to be a two-digit number, actually, so those are for sale right over there. Uh, I haven't checked recently, but um, I, would, I would encourage everybody to pick up an Edison. <laughs> uh, so, um, and then uh, the, the servos, uh, I'm just not sure. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we made these in small volumes basically for the purpose of showing at, at booths like this. Yeah, I've looked at some robotic kits in the past and they've been a little pricey, I think maybe yeah. like $500. Yeah. Uh, so that may have changed. Yeah, and I think uh, the, the, the printing of, of the parts is, is sort of an open question, you know, where you can find a printer, if you have a printer, uh, how long it takes them, etc., depending on their schemes. <laughs> um, now you said this is uh, controlled by an Edison. Is that what I understood? Sorry. What's the uh, the chip, the microcontroller? Oh, Intel Edison. Yeah. Okay. So uh, are they available? I, I read some things months ago. Can you get them now? You, you certainly can. Yeah. Um, they launched uh, last fall, and um, uh, I've been picking up some momentum in the marketplace. They're certainly available for sale. Uh, at this point, there's kind of a. a, a decent sized ecosystem around it. Um, you can buy breakout boards for, uh, you know, most most maker application you would want to. Um, cer certainly to compete with uh, things that we've seen from um, Arduino, etc. Uh, of course, Intel Edison is, is, is a lot more powerful than, than uh, uh, s some of those offers. Yes, I've, I've noticed that. Okay. So, um, what else is in the booth if you in the booth. want to turn so, around? Uh, I've only walked around actually a few times, but we, we've got some more robots over here. Okay. Uh, in the corner, we've got a little DJ booth here. Um, let's see. You know, I've been so busy working here, I'm not sure. There's this bike thing. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I would I'd just uh, take a walk around. See. Okay, you. sounds good. Let's do it. Thank you. So what's going on over here? Hi, so what are you doing over here? So we have partnered with uh, Intel to create some educational demos and kits around the Galileo and the Edison. So we have, um, they're basically designed to get kids creating, making and inventing really quickly. So for example here, we have um, a visual programming interface used mm -hmm. in modified Blockly that's being served off of the Galileo and students can modify the different um, inputs and the different um, aspects that they want to modify of the GUI, of the graphical interface and then when you manipulate the sensors Oh, you get different changes. It huh? changes 
And you can program what you want to change. Okay, so what's so. the actual controller board there? So the controller board is uh, the Intel Galileo. Okay, so it's yeah. the Galileo. Okay. So I just saw the Edison, which is a more powerful yep. unit, right? Absolutely. And we've actually, we have an Edison game here as well. Wow. So we have taken a game in Unity. Oops, it looks like it's, let me see if it's, uh, if I can do this upside down. Okay, it needs to be restarted. But we've taken a, um, a Unity game and downloaded it to the Edison and then created a program that reads the GPIO and serves the Unity game back to, um, to the computer. See, I don't know if I can do it upside down. <laughs> Oops, it's still reloading, I think. Interesting. Well. Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to do it upside down and backwards, but I'll try my hardest. <laughs> ah! So I can manipulate using this tiny little joystick here on the board. Okay. And then when I see, ah, oh, no, they're gonna get me. They're gonna get me. <laughs> I think I need to do it two hands. No, oh. <laughs> it killed me. <laughs> so it seems like a lot of horsepower just to run a couple of. <laughs> Absolutely, it's very powerful, and it actually it's it's um we're, we've connected Ethernet over USB um for for Maker Fair, but you can also it has since it, it uh is it also is a wireless device as well, so okay. you could play from 20 feet away. So I have complete wireless. Is it yeah. both Bluetooth and um, Wi-Fi, or is it just Wi-Fi? Um, it I believe it has both. We're definitely okay. using. Yeah, I believe it does. Wow. Have both. And what's the cost of something like that, the Edison? This, um, the Edison is around $50, and the boards range from about $10 to $20 each. Wow. So where would I go about getting one? So there are a couple of different sites. Um, these boards we purchased from sparkfun.com. Okay, great. I've, I've purchased before from there, so yeah. that'll, that'll be good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh.